Where are you going? <laughs> Where do you think? My ship is over. Is there a problem? Your name came up. Regression is a psychological sci-fi thriller that links up an unspeakable crime to the occult. And our next guest stars alongside Emma Watson and Ethan Hawke in the film with a just a delicious mustache. Welcome, Aaron Ashmore to Breakfast Good Television. Morning. How are you, buddy? Good. I forgot about that mustache. Yeah, just get to say. That doesn't come overnight. You got to spend some time on growing that. Sucker. And and you had to stay with that for a while. Uh, definitely, definitely a couple months. How did your uh, How did your wife feel about that? My wife loved it, uh, but the first time I went into a local coffee shop uh, that I go in all the time, well, the barista was like, "Oh my, what are you doing?" Because I sort of grew the beard out and then shaved it. And uh, so I didn't feel so confident about that for a little while, but I got over it and I stuck with it and it works. Well, you got to have some confidence to wear that now. Yes, you do. Um, Regression is a film, it's based in the, in, in the early 90s, which is why the mustache works. Yes. And yeah. you are a police officer. Yes, sir, I am. And what, what do we need to know about this film? Because it's kind of creepy. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's definitely a psychological thriller and uh, it really revolves around Ethan Hawke's character who's a detective investigating a uh, pretty horrific crime that happens uh, to Emma Watson's character. And it's really about sort of the rabbit hole that he goes down and the obsession uh, uh, as he starts to investigate this case. Well, and it's, it's interesting that you, you brought this up. We were talking off, off the air that at that point there was some sort of, there was like a revival of occult satanic yeah, satanic movements. there's an obsession even FBI sort of investigations and and files sort of are, are about this idea so it's kind of interesting to see this time period in this sort of uh, film well there we go there's some occult stuff right there looking uh, and, and just to, to sort of go down that rabbit hole because it really it really does and it really doesn't matter it doesn't matter what it's in it's always really interesting to get kind of a, a peephole into that sort of world because it's just it, it, it's it, weird it is fascinating yeah uh, people's how people's minds work and and yeah it's, it's really interesting now you got to work with Ethan Hawke on this film and Emma Watson yes uh, what are they like uh, both really really amazing super pro uh, professional I, I worked with Ethan most of the time because my character sort of gets paired up with him uh, but it was exciting because that year he was nominated for an Oscar so That's you know cool. you're working with somebody and you're like wow they're at like the the peak of their game and he's a, a very professional very funny uh nice guy so it was it was a great experience and emma watson i know you're a bit of a harry potter fan yeah, so yeah. I, I, I nerded <laughs> out a little bit uh you didn't tell her though, no did no no i think it was just sort of yeah, i kept it contained but yes i was definitely pretty excited because i i read all the books and obviously i saw the movies and and she was re very sweet and uh, very cool as well that's awesome now, see, the thing is you have You've made a, a pretty good career out of doing films that are just outside of what is um, cons what we would have as reality in our mm -hmm. lives, right? So you've got the Killjoys, which you just wrapped shooting on Tuesday morning at 5 a.m. Yes, yeah, right here yeah, in Toronto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and that season two of that we're going to see this summer. I mean, what is it about sci-fi films and and things that are just a little bit woo? Well, I think there's an element of, uh, of escapism that I think people really respond to, uh, and, and it's very entertaining, so it's like a little bit heightened, you know, the idea. And for me, I mean, I, I love doing it because uh, it's fun. You get to sort of do these crazy things that obviously you never get to do in real life, but it all, a lot of these movies and shows and stuff are still very grounded, the dramatic stuff, so... You know, you're not, doesn't feel like you're doing stuff way out of the ordinary just every once in a while. There's like, you know, instead of a regular gun, we have a laser gun. Yeah. Uh, you know, instead yeah. of driving the car to work, we, we fly the spaceship around. So, you know, <laughs> there's just kind of little things that make it sort of fun. Well, and that's going to play in really well when your young child is born. Yes. Because I, I, I hope I'm allowed to, yeah, am I allowed yeah, to say this? Fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, people geez. know. People okay, know. people know. Yeah. You're, you're, you're due to become a father for the first time in June. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you very much. How exciting is that? Is it nerve-wracking? Is it more nerve-wracking doing that than, <clears throat> than filming? Uh, I would say yes. Okay. I've been acting for a very long time, so I feel like I've, 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 I kind of understand that. But uh, the fatherhood thing is brand is going to be brand new to me, so I'm very excited. I would say I'm much more excited than I am nervous. But you know, there's there's little nerves there. I think it'd be kind of cool to see, like for your for your son or daughter to grow up and see their dad in. In movies that they would probably watch. Yeah, I think so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm probably going to end up having to do some kids' movies and stuff now just to be yeah. like, see, look, that, <laughs> that does work. You can watch this one. These ones you can't watch, but uh, this one you can. And quickly, before we go, you know, you do a lot of shooting in Toronto. Mm -hmm. um, you, you did the Killjoys here, and, and there's a bunch of other things happening. But, you know, can you talk a little bit about and tell us who, who are not in the film industry mm -hmm. what it's like to shoot here and what this city means to film 
in Hollywood and in general around the world. Yeah, well, even specifically right now, it's incredibly busy here. Uh, and and I think so because we have a lot to offer. We have amazing crews. We have tons of talented uh, actors and that that live up here as well. And it's a big city, but we have, you know, uh, so everything you can double for all sorts of different places. So if, if people do see, uh, you know, trucks parked on the road, don't be annoyed with us. We're here to uh, make <laughs> movies and TV shows to entertain you. But yeah, it's just a great city to shoot in. That's right. And it's good for the economy, too. Absolutely, right? it is. Well, Aaron, congratulations on everything. Good luck with regression. It looks it looks creepy, but it looks awesome. It's in theaters tomorrow. You can head over to breakfasttelevision.ca for more details. Aaron Ashmore, thank you for coming thank in. Thank you. And we'll be right back on Breakfast Television.